We had and everyone else able to disengage properly, but now they can play towards the top side. They do see Faker, and the cocoon's not gonna land though, so can they get anything else? The flash chase, it's Steph onto his face, looking for a little bit more, and he's not gonna go down. Faker with just the ghost gets away with it. Oh, here comes the Ash Arrow, and Crown gets hit yet again. Faker walking up for the Rune Prison. Crown could be in a bit of trouble. He has his flash, though. Can he get caught anyway? Nice one. I did, buddy. <laughs> Close enough. We're not. Faker flashes for the Rune Prison. There's the Ash Arrow as well. Ruler gets caught. Ash Arrow used. Oh, Crown flashes. Still going to get taken out, though. Keep the champion. Keep the score there, but score may have to. Okay. Of course, the dragon. dragon. Yeah, that was a bit interesting. Blank drops uh, a Lancer's Bite. Fly could be in a lot of trouble here. Waiting for that to end. Someday comes down with the teleport, though. First kill comes in, actually kills on both sides. As Someday picks one up on the Blank, but score taken down as well. Baker on his own, jump back on the Fly, and there's a kill for that mid lane Echo. Someday still chasing, but Duke is going to stop him. Here comes Bang and Wolf, and now Duke the one in big trouble right now. Blank soon behind, parallel conversions drops oh. in. Two man stun from oh. Faker. Oh, that's beautiful. And Hachani now trapped under the turret. Blank, meanwhile, finds someday again. And can you say here? Okay, well, Faker just deciding to do the old uh, 1v4. Going back with the ult. A lot of low health members of SKT, though. Baron taken by Blank in the end. And now Faker, full health, going in onto KT Rolster. Is it enough, though? Exhaust on the fly. I think it's looking pretty good, man. No idea that this one's happening. They're going to rock and try to slow Duke, but the pillar is there. And now Faker arriving, and they interrupt this. The pillar's already been burnt. They get him in time with the burst from the LeBlanc. First blood goes over to SK. Tell you going to be. Oh, arrow comes out, finds Cry, but Faker wants to go straight on to Bray. Has that chain connected? Cry goes in, gets the Empress Divide, but it's too late to save the life of the Carry TP still coming through from Smet, but I don't know if they can really correct this mistake. Man, going to take a bunch of damage. Actually, has to find the wall. Look to get the damage, and Faker goes in. Finds me that Lance Spike comes down immediately. Can they answer a kill on the Baker? He gets locked up by the Contest Blows, but it's actually the Mimic as he just escapes into the back. Wolf now going low. So they can rock this. They will get the root bullets opening up with the curtain call. Arrow from Bang not going to interrupt Bray in the end. The four shot goes wide. Bray finds one onto the Alistar. The fight continues. Bang taking a bunch of hits from those Sand Soldiers, but Baker comes in the back side. Finds a kill, a double at that. Gets taken down by Bray, and the skirmish continues. Rocks down to two members, both of them extremely weak. They have to feel back. Surely it must fall as they chuck out the members of the Tigers. Now they're trying to go for the tier Oh two. my oh god, Baker geez. actually pops Peanut going over the wall, finishes him off with the chain, and now Bray, no man's land. He's going to go down. Two kills now picked up for SK Telecom. Bray set just with the distortion of the decision chain. Gobble Grilla gets knocked back, has to get out of there. Peanut can't have, does not have the Lambs for Spite available, gets popped out by Baker yet again. And now Rocks are just scrambling to try to hold on to the base, to try to hold on to their lives. Bray flashing away, trying to retreat back toward the fountain, pops the curtain ball, trying to get on the bank, but he's not going to be able to find the shots. Duke eats the last one, Baker goes back in and just eviscerates Gorilla. Smev is going to follow suit, and Bray with nowhere to go will fall, and SK Telecom, clean cut in the last half of this game. Take down Rocks Tigers for game one. Yeah, what an exciting first game of this series. This is everything. Oh my god. As Faker will end this game with a triple kill. Everything that I hope is being an annoying Shaco as he is. We do have Tilly coming down here, and that's a five stack from Faker. Oh, They're getting flanked. Uh, Nidalee's not even going. Oh. Faker's got first blood. Ali's trying to run away. The Ignite will go to Kasing, but it's a two. Nidalee's Froggy is going to get Earth. No. Just not there yet. The only thing that matters right now is this Elder Dragon. SKD looking to rush it down using the zone from Wolf. Look for him. It has that only so many objectives this world. Do not out. repel gets away from this time. He goes in for it and it's secured by Bangy. That is a big deal. SKT, shot away.
Oh, no boots at all. You know? Oh, Fina shockwave then rooted into everything. Nicely done. SKP picked one up. They know they can get spawned here. They're going for Kuro. Double bomb on a Kuro. Jello's gonna land this time, and he's gonna get the damage. Yes, he is. First blood in for Faker. Ouch. Over the wall goes Bangi, and so far, wow. so good for the first pick. I love this map. Oh, shockwave's gonna land it. all the damage they need, and Fina fails to repel it. He got other advantages though as well. The shockwave's gonna hit Gorilla. He flashed up, but not in time. Faker gets the kill. Now the Telecom T1 backs against the wall. Bangi himself, 3-0 against Rocks Tigers in the series, and SKT punch their ticket to their third world title. They need to actually go and take some pressure back, which is they're going for now. Young Faker play for the two, and that's just easy. And wow, it gets done. Faker uses his third summoner spell. To go down. SKT still got Barrett. Rula oh, 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 oh. Shockwave kills him. SK Telecom, they've opened the base. Even though Wolf gets knocked away. Rula's in trouble, but Bengi takes so much damage. Flash away from 4JJ. Ambition's looking for Bengi. Faker gets caught up. Whoa, oh, he gets trailed oh, That's the shutdown. Faker goes golden. He's killed by Rula. What can Rula do? Oh. Nothing. He's killed by Bang. That's 80 carry. Apply onto Bang though is Q-Face gonna do it to the minion wave first, and there goes the counter-attack from Rise! The realm warp not gonna be enough to the kill the range, but the flash does coming back to party. Yeah, will be an Slicing Maelstrom stuns SK Telecom! Duke Mega Nars out! They've drawn oh. you hard for one! Ambition doesn't get the respite down! Faker realm warps in! Ambition's running in, gravity oh. fields up, that will stun Ambition under the tower. Kill is good, but Ambition loses just a moment or two as that in hit falls. SKT, they now turn their attention to the top lane. Bang takes a lot of damage, but it's Ruler that's forced to be devoured. Cube uses the verdict to buy some time. His GA is popped. Crowd's looking for a target to use the petrifying gaze. Chaos Storm is almost up for Faker. The second inhibitor falls, and SKT back away. Is under threat. Deadly flourish as Samsung are under pressure. This is buying time for those super minions to pour in. Kick around. Crown's able to flash so he doesn't get caught. But Cube's down. And it's a war of attrition. They're just waiting for the oh. them in a fight. Duke flashes forward. Chomps down to kill Crown. SK Telecom have got two. Make that three kills. The curtain call is a fitting end to the world championship as Samsung Galaxy are being dove under their tower. SK Telecom have over Become every challenge. They are the undisputed best team in the world. The SKT reign continues. They win their third world championship. Baker earned it. Truly a legend. Is there anything that you want to say to these fans here and the SKT fans around the world? The opening ceremony, the Mason Jerry the camera and the Shizon Hashimanzo, the Kangiran Isan Langoko, the Kongi Kunas Tedo, Manan Pembundi, the Pekons, Yono Hamanso, Manan, Umon Ponejon, the Chigum E. Interpol Poisil, Hyunjang Pendergo, the Manan Pendereg, Hamadi Varsum, Hedusail, Yongo Rajo. 어, 뭐, 오늘 응원을 많이 해주셔서 정말로 감사하고, 어, 너무 많이 응원은 하지 마세요. 다음에 또올 거니까. Uh, thanks for cheering us, but don't cheer us too hard because we're going to come back anyway. Oh.